with him multiple times. Would you please welcome Jean Marco Serezi? <laughs> Match this personality. 100%. What's up, John Marco? Hello, how are you? I can't complain, good, man. Good. I know whatever's about to happen gonna be better than that last round. I know. <laughs> Even if y'all stood up here and ain't say shit, it's gonna be better than that last round. So, his opponent coming to the stage has that laugh that you just heard. Just <laughs> heard. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, he's done Rose Bow multiple times, killed it multiple times. Please welcome the one and only Dan. Wait! We all going to hell, so y'all may as well embrace it. Embrace it. Embrace it. Enjoy yourself. This is the main event, y'all. So, who wants to go first? I can go first. Fuck yeah, so Dan Wick's gonna get us started. John Marco told me that he loves doing escape rooms, which is really funny from a guy who can't escape the closet. <laughs> um, I mean, well, I'm not doing my Baron Trump joke, I guess. Um, Dan is vaccinated, uh, but Pfizer would like you to know he was like this before. <laughs> debate over who is, holds the title of the fifth beetle. John Marco looks like he is the fifth wiggle. <laughs> <laughs> I auditioned for it. I am. Uh, uh, Dan is... Uh, Dan is a vegetarian. Um, he would be vegan if he wasn't so into the taste of his own cum. John Marco has the body of a swimmer, but the demeanor and personality of a guy who is drowning in cum. <laughs> right. um, Dan's dad was in one of the towers on 9-11. He escaped, but he still regrets it wasn't take your son to work day. <laughs> I've had uh, I've had great battles with both of you guys. You're really good at this, so it's good to see both of you guys up here. Uh, Dan, you look more like a, really more like a French aristocrat than the last time I saw you. You clearly just bought that Tommy Hilfiger full set. <laughs> because you look like you're about to set sail for Autism Island. <laughs> came on stage and the audience was like, damn, I didn't think it was going to get gayer than Oscar. <laughs> you know, Dan, Dan's the only guy I know who says laughter. <laughs> God forbid we let a round of roast battle go without John Marco telling us about an audition that he <laughs> Strong 
first round by both of you. I mean, it's, it's kind of a coin flip for me. I think I'm going to give the slight edge to John Marco, though, but really good. That's one for John Marco. James Fontilla. Oh, okay. Uh, Jeff John Marco looks like Harry Potter, and Dan looks like one of the Gringotts goblins. <laughs> <laughs> Over, give me my jacket back, Dan. Uh, <laughs> so I think uh, just barely John Marco had one better joke, so I give it to him. But it was so close. J JP brought up Autism Island, and James was like, We have an island? <laughs> This is very funny. Uh, Dan, you look like what John Marco's soul looks like on the inside. <laughs> but I agree with the other judges. John Marco had it that one. Give it to John Marco. shirt and match your sneakers. I didn't like that shit. <laughs> and then like he on the Iceland hockey team from D2 to Mighty Ducks. <laughs> but uh, you know sometimes in like Rose Battle, sometimes that rebuttal energy can save you and you almost if you had landed like one more joke you like you might have beat John Collins round but he, he came out with more consistent jokes. So I'm giving it to John Marco. John Marco James on another planet. James, James is like that little Wayne shit, nigga. James is like, where he at? I don't know if white people know how to make scissors, nigga. <laughs> What's up, y'all? How y'all doing? Y'all good? We're gonna keep things moving right quick, so you know, I need y'all. So now, we gonna move on to round number two. <laughs> <laughs> who's, who's going first? It's you? All right. So John Marcos can get us started. Ladies and gentlemen, five jokes in a row. Give our man event a round of applause. Um, uh, it's, it's, Dan doesn't have, Dan's not autistic. Dan has uh, Tourette's syndrome, uh, but it's not the verbal kind. So he means it when he says the N word. <laughs> How, how do you look like a school shooter and the science teacher he shot? Uh, no, it's okay. Dan's so twitchy, even if he was a school shooter, he'd just fuck up the walls. <laughs> Dan's dad is an accountant and his mom is an external hard drive. Uh, <laughs> Now, Dan, Dan doesn't have a lot of sex, not because he can't, it's just a wet pussy makes him rust. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm a computer, so unlike John Marco, women turn me on. <laughs> didn't have a bar mitzvah until he was 25, but he still invited plenty of 13-year-old girls. <laughs> so I'm straight, what the fuck? <laughs> Only in the bad way. <laughs> Yes, John Marco got a bar mitzvah at 25. <laughs> He's so desperate for success in the entertainment industry, he literally became Jewish. <laughs> John Marco told me he loves the Spice Girls. Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's sweet. He 
told me how he appreciates how they overcame their working class pow background through friendship and creativity to overtake the pop landscape in a, re in a really revolutionary and inspiring manner. And I'm kidding, it's because he's gay. <laughs> John Marco is so gay. How are you? John Marco is so gay that the only way he would be in a vagina would be if he auditioned for a movie called A Vagina. <laughs> Alexander, you tell me, bro, who you got? Yeah, this one was fucking easy. Um, <laughs> Jamarco, you had good, good jokes, good jokes. Nothing, it wasn't trash or anything like that. But Dan, <laughs> Dan had the punchlines, and you still, he had that Beavis butt energy, except he just didn't go like, <laughs> <laughs> But Dan, your shit was fire, man. Five for five on that one. So Dan, let's see around three. There you go. John Marco, awesome jokes as always. You're killer. Dan, yours. You brought mad rebuttal energy, which we've been waiting for this whole time. Rebuttal energy. And you had the balls to show up in a woman's jacket, so. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, dude, that was a good round. Uh, I, I, I'm so glad Dan's holding his own uh, because John Marco has a special and Dan just is special. <laughs> uh, I, I'm really excited to see round three. I'm giving that round to Dan. Dan's got it! Woo! Woo! It's weird that John Marco's the Jewish one and you have that nose, Dan. <laughs> Look at it, turn to the crowd. <laughs> You do look like Tom Cruise if he played Rain Man. No, but you, you won that round, and just give me my jacket back after this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and JP McDade, last words of this round. All right. Uh, <laughs> awesome, awesome round again. Follow up the last really well. I mean, John Marco, you came out strong. You came out, you're kind of like. You had the part of Superman in the bag until they asked you to throw a baseball. <laughs> <laughs> but you had great jokes again. Always has great jokes. But Dan, Dan was uh, his jokes were hitting so hard he did like a like a Nintendo 64 Rumble Pack. <laughs> 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 went five for five. Uh, you're the most English-looking, non-English person I've ever seen. <laughs> uh, because he is Jewish and Italian and lying about being straight. <laughs> to John Marco's existence. Someone 
Less scaly. <laughs> Marco Polo is a game where you yell Marco until you find somebody. John Marco Polo <laughs> is a game where you yell Mama until you realize she's moved on to a new family. <laughs> oh my god. Dan's the kind of pedophile who tells kids he's looking for something serious. <laughs> John, Mar John Marco's girlfriend is a comedy manager, but he is not with her to get gigs. Unlike all of the other comedians she's fucking. <laughs> They don't even need a hanger. He just eats her pussy because it's a <laughs> fuck off, alright? I didn't expect that about my girlfriend. Nobody, nobody here expected you to have a girlfriend. <laughs> Goddamn gay jokes, you know, you can't beat them. <laughs> like your lovers, they never get old. Uh, 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 Dan, as you all see, Dan is, Dan is uh, Dan's so robotic, this is my impression of him coming. Oh, 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 one, oh. oh. So like this whole <laughs> shit was just amazing. Thank you both. And what this how real it is, y'all even realize it. That man said, oh, that shit about my girlfriend hurt. Like, wifey here, bro. Like <laughs> this shit is brutal tonight. So give them another round of applause. John Marco, man, you was you was fucking him up. But yo, the way Dan hits you and then starts bouncing, like Dan, feel like, 
Dan be feeling himself so much, he feel like he can get his dick sucked after the show, like tonight, like some chick in the audience, like fuck oh shit. Oh boy, I gotta give it to Dan, man. I like the dance. Sounds like the vibrator John Marker's girlfriend used to come. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, you hear it to Dan? It was I so mean, close. It was White Death Jam when he was ripping yeah, like yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it. Oh! Uh, I think I want to see one more joke. I think yeah. that's what I want. I'm down for this. Oh. Yeah. Well, yeah. Why not? Oh. Yes. That's great. Uh, that was the best round of Rose Battle I think I've ever seen. That was fantastic. Give it up for these guys. That was. That was awesome. Yeah. It's weird, it's weird that John Marco looks like Jeff Goldblum from Jurassic Park and Dan has the face of a velociraptor. <laughs> uh, I, 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 what, you voted for Dan, is that right? I gave it to Dan. Dan, Dan and, and, okay, so Dan, nothing, uh, then I'm gonna give it to John Marco to keep it even. Okay, all right. This, was, this round was the hardest round to judge, definitely. We kept waiting for somebody to fuck up, and then no one did, and then Dan just started bouncing, and I was, I was well, what's that kid's movie with the souls? Where they bounce around in soul heaven? No, it's recent, no, it's called Soul or something. Yeah, you were like a little, yeah, you're like a little bouncing soul. What's that soul. movie with the Jurassic Park? <laughs> Marco, I felt your confidence wavering a little bit at some point during that round, even though your jokes were fire as always. Dan, you were like this little dark horse that everyone just thought was a bouncing weirdo, but you, you came in really hot with all these killer jokes. So I'm going to give it to Dan, but really I want to see one more joke from everybody. So it's a Dan asterisk. I want to see more jokes. We can do both. We can do both. I mean, awesome round, awesome three rounds of battle. I mean, give him one more round of applause. Yeah. Yeah. People think this show peaked in 2017, and they're right, but this was good <laughs> shit. You guys are fucking awesome. Dan was up there. As in that jacket and the excitement, it was like Hillary Clinton when she thought she was going to win. <laughs> joke and you were like, how dare you? And you kind of stood, like did a John Valjean move toward the center of the stage and you were ready to go. Just a great, great final round. I really do want to see another joke if we got one. Let's do that. Y'all got another one? Yep. All right. Yeah, I was saving my best one for the fourth round. <laughs> <laughs> so y'all. Right? Yeah, we do one joke each, but you know what I'm saying? Audience, we're gonna do this one joke each. We're gonna do this shit for funsies. You know what I'm saying? This for y'all. Let's hear one more. You know what I mean? <laughs> All right. Gentlemen, does anybody want to go first? Yeah. Thought not, right? <laughs> so we're gonna do this like this. I'm, I'm thinking of a number between one and three. <laughs> three. Hey, hey, when you want to go, first second. I'll go second, please. Dan, it's all you, brother. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, bonus round, just for you. Yeah. Uh, I swear what I'm about to say is real. <laughs> John Marco kisses his dad on the mouth in public. <laughs> but it's not weird. It's not. People have done much worse for the old men who pay their bills. <laughs> Stayed in the tower. Um, I, uh, let's see. All right, you two can, son of Sam. Uh, that's right. Dan Wicks, you're like John Wicks if he hugged his enemies to death. In things like this, John, you want to do what you want to do? Yeah, okay, cool. Let's do that. What y'all got? Just super quick. Uh, I thought uh, two can't son of Sam didn't get enough. I thought that was a really good joke. I get to jump on. It was. I'm gonna give it to Dan on that one. I think Dan Dan had. Yeah, you know what's funny? 
I was gonna give it to the crowd. I was gonna let them pick. Oh, yeah. oh yeah, yeah. It don't matter. The fuck with him. You got to say this shit. Yeah, right. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the, the crowd can uh, decide this one. Those were equally mediocre. After <laughs> the really, really amazing round. So, crowd, you guys decide. I, in my humble opinion, I thought, damn, maybe you edged it out a tiny bit. But my opinion, well, I'm only a judge, so who cares what I have to say? <laughs> I just can't wait to hear what James has to say about this. Nigga, <laughs> <laughs> you and me both. <laughs> uh, Dan, you look like one half of Spy vs. Spy. Uh, <laughs> But I, I love that you're giving it to the audience, Nico. Let's hear from the Rain Man himself. Yeah, all right. Um, John Marker, you look like a little shop of horrors, what you call any black-owned business. Oh! <laughs> 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 yeah, now, let's do one more joke, though. I think it's... Oh. <laughs> 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 one more joke? All right, y'all. We back here. So look. Ladies and gentlemen, here's how this works, right? Now, comics that are hanging out, do me a favor, sit this one out, keep your mouth shut, leaving this just a crowd paid money. So, oh yeah, let's shit, hold that down, bro. So, I'm gonna give it to y'all. I'm gonna put a hand over each of them, right? All I need you to do is make noise for the person that you wanna win. To keep this easy, make noise for the person that you want to win, all right? So, this is fun, this is for us. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's start. Dan Wicks! Yeah. You got it. And Jean-Marco Cerezi. Yeah. The winner of our final round tonight is Dan Wicks. Give him both a round.